art adored by many understood by few it's like kingdom hearts but for old people well i am old but pay attention this class is in session here's a quote from famous art critic harold rosenberg <clears throat> Playing Art of Fighting is a lot of fun. But the first member of the series certainly feels rusty. Mm. Thought-provoking stuff. A long-running debate amongst intellectuals and critics of our era is this. Are video games art? Well, that's exactly what we're going to find out today. I'm going to examine and critique the most thought-provoking box art from the most artistic console of all time, the Nintendo Game Boy. Our quest to determine once and for all, is it trash, is it art, or is it a masterpiece? Okay, we're off to a solid start here. I'm liking what I see here. I like the colors. I like the fact that Mario kind of looks like Bison and he's in a little capsule. I don't know what all those buttons do. There's a pinball that's coming hurtling towards him. It says here, cruise the alleyway, though I don't see an alleyway. There's a gigantic sheet of ice cubes floating in the sky. And in the background, there's, a, there's kind of a Milky Way metallic kind of Milky Way going on. I'm into that, I'm into that. The more I look at this, the more it seems like a man trapped, performing a repetitive action. A man with no freedom. It's quite somber. There's a deep story to this. Overall, I'm gonna have to say that this is most certainly art. This one's great. Look at the composition here. Look at Dracula. Huge, glowing yellow eyes and a hand from which lightning is generated, creating a castle. I'm into that. Also, the whip spanning from left to right across the entire piece. And look at those thighs. Oh my God, they're gleaming in the moonlight. I love this. The composition's fantastic. The colors are spectacular. Dracula's cape kind of becomes the atmosphere. You can see clouds within the cape. That raises questions about the nature of this 100 foot tall Dracula. Got a green moonlight in the background and some purple mist in the foreground, just creeping up to the boots of our hero. A masculine, powerful, strong, shiny thighed hero. This is great. I would put this on my wall. This is, this is art, guys. This is art. I see that they've gone with the plain green background for this one. Uh, and I like the inclusion of the sword as a T. Classic strat. Classic strat. Very central. Uh, which indicates there's going to be swords in this adventure. Um, but I got some issues here. There is a glaring deficiency here. How are you going to have an 80s, 90s game set in a fantasy universe and not have a hunked up, oiled up, greased up, tanked up, jacked out barbarian hunk? How do you not include that? This is trash. Now this is what I'm talking about. Look at those muscles. Look at the veins popping out. Look at that, ex that expression on his face. Oh my god. Oiled up. There's, there's kind of a, a fisheye lens as well going on here. It's sort of uh, claustrophobic in a way, which perfectly embodies what it must feel like to be a greased up hunk in the jungle. His knife has a weird curve to it, which sort of accentuates that. And the trees in the background do the same. There's a, there's a circular thing going on here. But obviously, the star of the show are those veins. Fantastic. 
Fantastic, love it. And you know, it's interesting, we've got the Lord of the Jungle being ambushed, attacked by the King of the Jungle. And they kind of resemble one another, actually. Tarzan's mane of hair kind of looks like the mane of fur on the King of the Jungle. Even their pose kind of mirrors one another. This is almost like a Jekyll and Hyde type situation. Very, very evocative. This is, this is some high tier art, high tier art. Not enough veins to be considered a masterpiece, but this is art guys. This is definitely art. This is a sumo fighter that does not want to be a sumo fighter. How are you going to encourage people to become a sumo fighter when the very sumo fighter depicted on the cover does not want to be a sumo fighter? It is as if sumo fighting is in fact a boring office job. This is, this is bleak. This is very bleak. I, th th this is not how you sell a game, guys. This is like trying to sell a holiday package and on your promotional material, having images of people yawning on a plane and waiting in an airport. This is the epitome of boredom. He is bored. The artist was bored. The sumo is bored. The volcano is bored. I'm bored. By the way, interesting point. This was the Western release. Let me show you a Japanese release of the same game. Now that's how you fucking do it. That's how you do it. Look at those. Look at that eight pack. Look at that stern, stoic, slightly deranged look on the sumo. Look at his ears. I don't even understand that. Pink clouds, a weird, I don't know, peanut man with a hat to the left. The waves, that big bah, fist or hand, open palm hand to represent the sumo attack. Some goofy ass uh, red nose comic relief to the right. And there's like, was that a dog in the background? There's so much going on here. This makes me want to be a sumo. This art, that trash, utter trash. Next. Uh, this is, this is uh, not good. Firstly, there's too much red way too much red secondly why is there a picture of a dragon on the cover of a fishing game i don't understand that at all uh this uh, i mean it's no wonder i've never heard of this game it's no wonder they never made any sequels i would never touch this it's terrible marketing whoever uh attempted to sell this to people i hope they got fired trash now this is something this is beautiful I really love the use of blue here. It just pops. It catches my eyes. Um, it makes sense. It's clear. And you know, I also really appreciate that they've depicted the protagonist of this fishing game. Very muscular protagonist. And you can see that they've got a lot of room for fishing tackle in their uh, backpack they got there. A lot of space for different lures. Um, the three fingers, I don't really understand. That might be due to a fishing accident. As we know, there's a lot of sharp objects out there in the ocean. Uh, but I really like this. It's clear, it's concise. My one little quibble with it is there's mention of a red version. Uh, and uh, I don't know if anyone really wants to see that, but that's okay. We all make mistakes. You know, I really hope that whoever designed this got a promotion. And I'm really glad to see that this series endured and lived on um, entirely due to this fantastic box art. This is art, guys. This is true art. This is hype. This is powerful. We have here a young man grinding the fucking earth with pink wheels on a single kick skateboard with the words Baghdad, Chernobyl, Hanoi, Santa Cruz plastered over it. It's colorful. This is uh, a patchwork quilt of cultural signifiers all put together and it's very well embodied with the skate or die title which is almost as if it's a ransom note taken from different newspapers different magazines taken from the world the very world which this man is grinding i kind of wish that there was more muscles a little bit thin 
I like I like my covers muscular and gleaming. Uh, I appreciate the title Tour de Thrash. I see what they did there. Interesting, they got a little red state thing going on with the globe. If that's maybe a signifier of danger, or maybe maybe that's a little political leaning, a political bent, grinding capitalism away, perhaps. This is uh, thought provoking. Very thought provoking. Love the clouds. Love the sense of movement surrounding the admittedly not muscular enough body. This is great. This is art, guys. Not a, not a masterpiece. But this is art. Now this is uh, emblematic of a big problem in art. You know, too often art becomes elitist. People with their fine arts degrees learn the rhetoric, the spiel to sort of talk above people, to confuse them into submission. It is often used to um, justify it, outlandish prices for things that don't necessarily make sense. And at first, this seems quite clear and concise. We've got Mario here hitting a golf ball. Seems like he sliced it a little bit. I don't know if it's going to land on the green. Seems to be a simple, clear depiction of the subject matter. The message seems to be get the ball in the hole. I like that. But it is all undone by this esoteric message, intentionally designed to confuse us. And look, look at this. This is just the type of confusing message that pretentious artists will put in something to make it seem meaningful. What is Abschlag zu Spoff und Hörerstadrung? What kind of a crock of shit is that? You try and confuse me with words that don't have any meaning? Shame on you, Golf. Shame on you, Mario, by the way. I thought you were better than that. This is trash. This is the worst of the worst. I've never seen a worse cover in all of my life. Also, dialogue spiel? They're just trying to sound fancy now, guys. Come on. Next. This is bad. This is this is an embarrassment. I, I'm I'm sorry to even share this with you. Abschlag zu Spoff und This is stunning. This is magnificent. This is fucking unbelievable. Look at the sense of movement on Heihachi from Tekken. Look at his twisting, contorted body. Look at the contortions on his face as he obliterates that ball. That ball doesn't exist anymore. This is a man who has put every ounce of himself into this one moment captured in time perfectly through the movement in the background to the foreground look at the even the moving shadow across his torso that thick bulging arm you can see the fury in his exertion too many times has Heihachi missed the ball Overcooked the ball, sliced the ball, hooked the ball. But not today, friends. This is powerful. This goes beyond golf. This goes beyond gaming. This is a man at the end of his tether. And this is the result. I gotta say, guys, everything in this the pain, the suffering, the exertion, the sense of movement, the shading. The shadow, the expressiveness, the foreground, the background, the colors. This is art at its peak. This is a damn masterpiece. Also, shout outs to the fact that it's called Konami Golf. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing Konami is the state of something that is Konami like. And I would like to see more Konami things in my life if they turn out half as good as this stone cold masterpiece. We found it. Thank God.